Hey guys, Phase 2 Action Review here doing another action figure review. This is Star Wars The Black Series Knights of the Old Republic Gaming Great Zalbar. Um, as you can see, you can see him in the box, Gaming Greats. Um, side of the box, you can see Black Series Gaming Greats. On the back of the box, you can see the artwork. He is number four in the Gaming Greats Knights of the Old Republic line. If you want to read the bio, you can pause it right there. And on the side of the box, you see the artwork. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about this figure. This is my first Wookiee. And, uh, yeah, so let's get him out and see how he is. Alrighty, guys, so I got him out of the packaging. And he is a lot bigger than I was expecting him to be. He's a lot taller. Um, he does come with two accessories. He comes with... It's actually a really awesome sword. Um, just for comparison on how long the sword is it's taller than this Boba Fett <laughs> which he's like an average six inch figure um, and yeah so this is one of the accessories he comes with um, another one is this blaster it's like the regular one that a lot of Wookiees have so I've just been calling this the Wookiee blaster which there is what looks like storage on the back. Um, it looks like if you want it, it could be sword storage, like like that, if you would like. But I think you could just like port that in like that. Um, just put it in the back or something. Pretty sure this is for the gun. Um, a blaster just to port in like that and boom. So if you wanted to, you could have it just like set up like that and boom, he looks locked and loaded. And um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for his accessories. You can just look at overall detail, which there is a lot of sculpting. I'm pretty sure this is just a um, repaint of a Chewbacca. I'm not too sure about this um, head. I don't have any other Wookiees. This is actually my first Wookiee and it's definitely pretty tall. Um, it's a great figure, though. Um, we can go over articulation. So the head can't... I mean, it has a little bit of, like, wiggly-waggly, I guess you could do. But it's not really that really poseable. I mean, you can look up barely. Look down, nothing, pretty much. But that's just it for the um, head. The arms can go all the way around bend mm, is that it? it looks like that's just about it less than 90 uh there's a little bit of crunch and swivel the swivel is actually pretty good legs can go up about that far hindering of the fur you go back about that far his knees can bend mm, oof these are very tight See, this one's a lot better. Been to uh, about 90, if not almost 90. And the feet can't really move a lot. I mean, they can. Just to get into a little bit of poses, like you can move up and down and swivel around. There is a knee swivel, so you can have them out like that if you would like. Like that. Yep, don't fall. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so now that we checked out articulation, his accessories, we can go over to comparison. So going on to comparison, I have Jedi Knight Revan, which they worked together a lot in the books and KOTOR itself. So that's a cool one. And then this is the archive one. I have both of them. I just have the red box one still in the red box because I got it around the same time that the archive was coming out. So I was just going to hold on and wait out for the archive. And um, yeah, so there's that. That's pretty much it for comparison. I mean, there's not too many KOTOR figures at the moment or now. Um, I do have like Bistola Shan coming out. A few others. 
And, um, hey guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoy action figure reviews, news, talks, or hauls, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Um, I'm gonna have a bunch of different reviews coming up. If you haven't seen, this is one of the figures I got in my haul recently, which have that video has been uploaded, so go check that out. And, uh, yeah, so hit the like button, consider hitting the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.